Farooq was excited. It was the day of his first Hajj Prigli march, and he had eagerly been awaiting for the moment since he was a young boy. Taking a deep breath and thanking Allah for his blessings, Farooq made one last glance in the mirror at himself before he headed out the door. Arriving at the masjid, Farooq was filled with emotion upon the sight of so many other men, all dressed in white. There was hushed reverence in the air as they chatted amongst each other, exchanging gentle smiles and words for, of peace. The Imam was speaking to the congregation and Farooq could feel the words resonate within the, himself. He was filled with joy and more than anything, he was happy to be among his brothers and sisters in faith. After performing the duties required for him, Farooq made his way to the Kaaba. He looked upon the massive ancient bank black stone with awe, and he remembered his childhood days when his mother had taught him to thank Allah for his blessings. He placed his hand up upon the Kaaba and obeyed its silent command, silently thanking Allah for bringing him to this point. He then made this way to the Safa and Marwa, which each step he moved closer to the station of Ibrahim. The story of the Ibrahim became clearer to him. He was filled with admiration and awe of Prophet Ibrahim's devotion to Allah. It was here that Farooq truly left the power of the Holy Land. He made the final lap of the Tawaf and knew deep in his heart that he had been successful in his Hajj pilgrimage. He thanked Allah for blessing him with the opportunity and the strength to complete the journey. He left the Holy Land with a newfound appreciation for the teachings of Islam. His experience had given him a clearer understanding of the religion that he had, was proud to be a part of Farooq. Keep the memory of his Hajj pilgrimage close to him and knew that with Allah's guidance he would continue to strive for the betterment of this faith.